have a good day so during this crisis period with covid 19 so first i will say don't go outside and don't spend uh, time everywhere so be at home and take care of yourself and utilize maximum time for the studies getting advantage and saving others and help into the government requirements so come on come on so you studied fluid mechanics part completely for the subject ce twins 2721 now we are going to study the balance thermodynamics part so we'll see this what is our main objective to become an engineer or engineering professional so in order to do that what do you want theoretical and practical knowledge and we have to go through the exam examinations so in order to do that we should study well concentrate much and commit more time for the study even though we have to have many other things for refreshments uh, entertainments and other things we should give priority for studies otherwise we may fail keep it in your mind shall we move on to the subject again look at the picture what did you see the building get lighted how the electricity is going through the high tension line then high tension line is provided with the electricity given by the generator so how this generator is rotating then it is coupled to a turbine the turbine how this turbine is rotating as the prime mover or the rotary machine in in rotating the generator so the steam is supplied to the turbine high pressure high velocity steam is flown on to a turbine blades that are inside the machine so then how this steam is coming from or from where it is coming from a steam generator known as boiler so then in order to heat water so here you need heat energy or heating the heating is done by the power or heat generated by this nuclear reactor with our experience in sri lanka you can have the burn operated boilers with coal or furnace oil or heavy diesel instead of this nuclear reactor but anyway important thing is supplying heat on heat to the boiler then from where you are taking water then you can see water is fed through the water pump high pressure water pump in this particular system you can observe many many different equipment turbine the boiler or the steam generator water pump nuclear reactor so in sri lanka you can see the coal burners and 
destine generating unit the water pump inlet is there outlet is there so the, then you can see many many systems separately sometimes connecting individually so then i think you think what are these and it is mesh up like don't worry the the things or the equipments or units that we have spoken you have to study lot so in the subject of thermodynamics what we are going to study is the separately all these things simply all these things now even it is complicated to you but you know that electricity is needed then generator to be rotated then prime mo is required something like turbine so in order to do all these things in in, in the indus, industry you should have this thermodynamic systems that is why it is so up it is important up to that extent then you have to pay attention and you should cultivate your own attitude any study in the subject why so you are doing electrical this is not your field subject in electrical engineer this part is vested in mechanical engineering but it is common you should know all these things so therefore it is easy to study these basic concepts and get through this year itself if you repeat it it is very difficult you to do the next time so therefore i would like to say you all should concentrate about this subject while teaching while we are attending for the lectures so keep it in your mind okay shall we move on to the next thermodynamics thermodynamics deals with fundamental laws which are universal and hence applicable to field of cross disciplines that means it could be applied through many many disciplines in engineering chemical engineering process engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering so and many many subfields so one branch of knowledge you can understand it as one branch of knowledge that all engineers and scientists must have a grasp that means everybody should, every engineer every scientist should touch this area in other words thermodynamics can be considered as system level science what do you mean by that you are not going to touch with atoms neutrons protons or unit cells as we have studied in the first year metrology or your material subject no so you are you are you will treat or you consider as a system with bulk quantities little higher in volume or mass you are not going to analyze in atomic way in molecular way or likewise so therefore remember thermodynamics is treated basically in system level it doesn't say that we are not considering atoms molecules that are, that are but especially basically at the beginning we are our approach is based on system level okay finally thermodynamics is a subject of studying in energy and its transformations what is it in energy and its transformations 
energy can be transformed into different and different energy forms example heat energy can be transferred to sound energy light energy electricity so we'll see next terminology to understand the laws of thermodynamics and how they work it is important to be familiarized with terminology simply you should know terms or you should know some words that are used to understand the subject some of terms may look like much familiar to you and you have common meaning but remember when we are going to define these terms that are used in the subject is more technical and more precise don't use as casually don't take it as casually that is what i want to emphasize therefore there are different set of words that are used technically precisely to define this subject and to understand this subject the simply set of words are there with definitions then you should remember those and understand technically 